こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Jordan, I recently started gardening as a hobby, and I'm trying to learn more about different types of plants. Can you help me understand some commonly used plant names and their characteristics? Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, 
their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. Absolutely, Alex. Learning about different plants can be really rewarding and enhances your gardening experience. Let's go through some popular plants, their uses, and care requirements. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring.
That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring.
That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. That sounds great. Maybe we could start with some common flowers. Sure. One of the most popular flowers is the rose. Roses are known for their beauty and variety of colors and sizes. They generally need well-drained soil and plenty of sun. Another popular flower is the tulip, which is a bulbous plant known for its bright and cup-shaped flowers appearing in spring. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. 
Another low maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air.
I've seen those in many gardens. What about plants that are known for being easy to care for? For easier care, you might consider succulents. They require minimal watering and are perfect for drier climates. Aloe vera is a type of succulent that's not only easy to care for but also has medicinal properties, particularly for skin treatments. Another low-maintenance plant is the spider plant, which is great for indoor environments and helps purify the air. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes.
That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. That's useful to know. Are there any plants known for their herbs or spices? Absolutely. Basil is a very popular herb used in cooking, particularly in Italian cuisine. It needs plenty of sunlight and regular watering. Mint is another herb that's quite easy to grow, just be careful as it can spread quickly and take over garden spaces. It's great for adding flavor to drinks and dishes. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly.
What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly.
What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. What about plants that might be good for a vegetable garden? For vegetable gardens, tomatoes are a staple. They need stake support as they grow and plenty of sunlight. Lettuce and carrots are also good choices for beginners and can be grown in cooler temperatures. These vegetables are not only easy to grow but also allow you to harvest something edible quite quickly. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance.
Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Are there any flowering plants that also attract wildlife like bees or butterflies? Certainly, attracting pollinators can help your garden thrive. Lavender is excellent for attracting bees and also has a soothing fragrance. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. 
Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. Sunflowers are great for attracting bees and birds, and they add a dramatic height and color to your garden. Butterfly bush is another plant that, as the name suggests, attracts butterflies and comes in varieties that bloom in different colors. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? 
A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. This is a lot of great information, Jordan. How can I remember all these different plants and their care specifics? A good method is to keep a gardening journal where you can write down information about the plants you're growing, their care requirements, and any personal observations. There are also many gardening apps available that can help you track planting and watering schedules. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. 
I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures.
Thanks, Jordan. I'm excited to use this information to expand my garden and maybe even try growing some new plants I hadn't considered before. You're welcome, Alex. Enjoy your gardening journey. It's a rewarding hobby that constantly allows for learning and growth. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have more questions as you delve deeper into your gardening adventures. お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。